Hey folks, up here in North Queensland with Tackle Tactics Pro Angler Vinny. We've just been on a JP trek and nailed a few fish and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to hit him with our Pro Angler 7 questions so that you guys get to know more about his background and what he likes to chase. First question off the list, how did you get into fishing? Um, got into fishing through my old man actually. My old man's probably just as mad keen if not more so than me. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, it's sort of the only thing that I can ever remember us doing. It's, there was nothing else. There was school and fishing. And, school and fishing, And yep. that was it, you know. And yeah, it's sort of just, it's always stuck, you know. I think it's just deeply ingrained in me and it's it's something I'll never stop doing. Yeah. And, and, you know, I sort of, I'm looking forward to passing that on to my kids. Yeah, you know, and, and sort of teaching them all about you know, fishing outdoors and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. That's what it's about, eh? Yeah, absolutely. And you've been lucky enough to live your life in three countries, so you've got to fish three different countries as yep. well. How's that yeah. been? Yeah, no, absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, I can't say anything bad about it anyways. Yep. Fishing, you know, that's going right through South Africa, doing the saltwater and the freshwater scene there. Um, both lure and bait fishing back in those days. Then yep. moving to New Zealand, spending a good six years there. Um, and same again, you know, from fly fishing for trout all the way through to jigging for kings, trolling yeah, for island, you know, yep. like, yeah, we had everything there. Um, but yeah, sort of Australia's fishing's always appealed to me ever since I was a kid. You know, when I was little, I got a, got my hands on a couple of magazines, and Murray Cod and Barra, they yep. were the standouts, you know, back in those days. And yeah, it's always been a lifelong dream to get here. Finally got here, moved straight to Townsville from New Zealand, and yeah, been here ever since. You know, you're 13 in, years strong. You're in Barra Country. <laughs> I've got everything, all the, all the best parts of yeah. my backyard. Yeah, oh, yeah. it is. It's a pretty awesome yeah, place. I've enjoyed the few days we've been here. It's opened my eyes like to what you guys have got on yeah. your doorstep, that's for sure. That's really what are a couple of your favourite species to chase? Um, look, Barra would always be on the top of the list, but I, I, I'll never say that I've got an, an absolute favourite. Yep. You know, I think each different species that I do target... You know, as long as it eats a lure, it's my favourite. Yeah, you know? that, that's my thing. I think they all bring bring something yeah. different to the table. You know, like this morning we had, you know, cracking good surface session on Barra. Yeah. You know, nothing tops any surface fishing. But then we come and walk, you know, this pristine yeah. country chasing jungle perch. I'd, I'd have to say at the top of my list would be sooty grana. Yep. Um, you know, you find them in a variety of surroundings and that sort of stuff. But just their their pure ballsy aggressiveness. You know, like there, there's not not many fish out there that that just kill a lure you know like yep. they're so aggressive and yeah I, you know, yeah I, yeah, no, I, I yeah. remember chasing them with you and that was my first real session chasing them and oh that yeah. oh you find yourself going oh all the time when they hit the yeah. lure just brutal no I, I, I can't say enough cool good fish. things about them you know and they're a great learning ground too you know for yep. people wanting to get into luring you know especially kids because most of the places you find them, like we've got the Burdekin River up in Charters Towers, yeah, and it's safe as ours. There's no crocs and that sort of jazz to worry about there. Yep. And yeah, getting kids especially into luring because they're so aggressive, they'll eat anything that moves. Yep. You know, it's, Gives it's the a, kids the confidence. Oh, and it's, it's a fantastic learning you know, school ground. You know, it's yeah. Right there, yeah. And not bad for a, for a young fella or whatever if you're holding a fish this big. Yeah. <laughs> they're big, solid Absolutely. things. You know, eh? Yeah, I've, I've probably added some of my most memorable fishing trips chasing sooties you know and that's yep. that's why they'll always be up at the top of my list and that that is my next question what are a couple of your most memorable captures that's a lot of fishing in those years so what's a couple of standouts oh, well um uh, probably one of my favorites is uh way back in south africa i caught the south african junior record largemouth bass yeah um and they yeah they yeah they, i cut my luring teeth on, yep. on them so that that was a definite standout um some land-based kingfish over in New Zealand, you know, throwing yep. lures for them off the rocks over there. That, that was pretty high. First meter barra, you know, any sort of first of a species, you know, just ticking that bucket list, yep. keep ticking it away. You know, yeah, they, they'd absolutely be some of the most memorable ones. Yeah, that's brilliant, eh? Yeah. Uh, if you were, if you could only have one tackle tactics lure in your kit, what would the lure be? Oh, wow, you're hitting me with a hard question now. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if if I had to choose one, a standout one, I'd, I'd have to say a three-inch minnows. Yeah, you know, like good profile size. You can use them from the surface right down to you know deep dropping in 30 meters. Yep. You know, um, yeah, that you're hitting me with the hard ones. Yeah, yeah, I know that is that yeah, is a tough one. Yeah, there's, I'd, I'd there's say so many out, in out of the Z-Man range. Yeah, TT uh, the Z-Man 
three-inch minnow is absolutely probably in pinfish color. Yeah. Um, it's a good prawny slash buggy <laughs> slash bait fish color. So it's probably my. You're telling me. Color. You're telling me that I'm making it tough for you. And now you're giving me a color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, um, that is. It's a great profile, and you can rig it on rig it in so many different ways. Yeah, like absolutely. Say, yeah, everything needs yeah, it, yeah. Uh, for you, what are your bucket list species? You've caught a lot of different species. What's left? Uh, Dorado, yeah, golden Dorado, absolutely. Yeah. You know, somewhere in South America. Um, yeah, either lure or fly. They they they'd be an absolute yeah, yeah absolute yeah. top highlight. Um, but yeah, other than that. Yeah, probably big tarpon over in Florida. Yeah, yeah that'd yep. be another one up there. Yep. You know, just for their sheer size. You know, yeah, it's yeah, crazy when you're holding fish, yeah. when you're holding a fish that looks like a fish we can catch over here, but it's yeah. just epic proportions. Yeah. Eh? yeah, no, but I, yeah, top of the list, yep. bucket list. Yeah, golden dorado. Yeah, absolutely awesome. Yeah, they're a cool looking animal. Eh? Uh, what's a piece of fishing advice that you've been given that still sticks with you? Always be casting. Yeah. 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 ABC. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to throw it out there who said it to me, but yeah, um, yeah. and it's true. Like it, you're not going to catch them if you if you don't have a hook in the water, you're not yep. going to catch them. You know, sometimes you know it might be tough. You know, the barasin as as we saw this morning. You know, yep. sometimes you'll go out and you'll brain them. Other days you'll put in a thousand casts before you get your first bite. But if you don't make the thousand and first cast, yep. you're not going to get that bite. So yep. yeah, absolutely. And always. then you get that photo, and then you've got it for. Yeah, You've forever, forever you know? right? but yeah, always be casting. Always be casting. I love it. That is, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and last of all, what are three tips that you would give to someone that wants to get into fishing? Three tips for someone that wants to get into fishing. Yeah, someone that's new to the sport. Um, get local advice. Go yep. and go and have a talk to your tackle shops. I mean, that's. Those guys rely on giving you good advice to get business coming back to them. Yep. Um, so yeah, absolutely talk to people. Most people are quite free. They might not not necessarily be you know forthcoming with spots and that sort of stuff. But yeah, te techniques. Apply those techniques. Yep. Learn. Get on the water. That that's probably the best thing. Is get out there and do it. You might not catch fish every time you go out. Yep. But absolutely get out there and do it. The more time you spend on the water the more likely you're going to yep. you know, get it right. As soon as you start getting a pattern, start catching a few fish, your confidence will start building up. And you know, it'll, yeah, it'll, it gets the easier. only way is up from there. <laughs> you know? Get yep. online. There's, there's a massive free information online. It's a great tool. Use it. Yep. You know, so, yeah, that, that are, yeah, that's sort of the direction that, that yeah. I would absolutely steer yep. in. And there is there's a lot of info out there for, for people. That are, that are trying to find info and speaking of info you'll find loads more info from this bloke and the rest of the tackle tactics pro team on tackletactics.com.au thank you vinnie awesome time up here for us i, I hope you've enjoyed our quick catch up with vinnie we'll see you on the water <laughs>